Hey guys, what's up? It's Adam, also known as Insane Gaming 2010, and today I have another airport update today. Uh, this time it being on the scale 1 to 200, and uh, it's an airport update I haven't done in a while, so I just wanted to uh, get an airport out update out for you guys. Change a little bit of stuff here and there, so let's get right to it. Uh, first off, major change is this area right here. Uh, this area used to just be a four gate terminal. Uh, I didn't have the terminal there, and I said it would be a uh, it said it would be a cargo area. Uh, instead, I printed out some foils and I changed it around, and I made it like a private jets area. But I just decided to put my uh, Virgin America fleet here just because I think it looks nice at my airport. And plus, uh, it just uh, it, it it makes sense, I guess. I don't know. Um, uh, so basically, I have a area, and because this is like a private jets area, uh, I have like a parking lot here, and I have like a uh, a go around area, and then you just like in your car, you just go around. And uh, fictionally, uh, bosses just come over here, and uh, they come take the passengers and pick them up and stuff like that. So then we have a uh, fuel area. This is like uh, jet fuel. Uh, this is like where the cylinders would go of jet fuel. And so that's basically it. Uh, we have uh, Virgin America A320 heading out to San Francisco. Uh, another Virgin America A320 heading out to Los Angeles. And last but not least, this plane just arrived. Uh, and it will be turning around in, I think, three hours going back to San Francisco. So that's basically it for this new area. Uh, another thing I did add was I added like another parking area. And I'm going to call this my plane spotting area, like for the plane spotters, uh, just because it's uh, it's got a good view of the runway. So that will be like the plane spotting area if you're a plane spotter. Uh, so I added that. Um, and so here's just a, a nice tail view of the Virgin Americas. There you go. So uh, I like that. That's a pretty cool view. So uh, going on, I will show I've got the... Uh, Hyatt Hotel right here, and I added this like parking lot area for the Hyatt, so uh, that is like uh, not as blank and empty anymore. So that's probably the major changes I've added to the airport, so it looks like that. Um, now after that I have the Alpha Concourse, uh, an empty gate where this United 757 just pulled out of. The United is heading out to Denver, Colorado. Um, then after that we have the United 737-800 uh, a Hogan Wings model heading out to um, heading out to Houston then we just have an Air Canada Jazz uh, Dash 100 in, uh, just at an empty uh, area heading out to Toronto then an Allegiant MD 83 heading out to St. Petersburg, Florida then an Air Canada Q400 heading out to Montreal, and a WestJet heading out to Ottawa. Uh, so that's basically it. This is like the uh, terminal, which just has uh, different carriers, I guess. I, I really like this view. It makes the airport look pretty realistic. You have a uh, uh, the backdrop of the uh, hotel and the terminal right there. I, I like that view a lot. Uh, so that's it for the... Uh, See that that's a nice view. I do that. That makes it look realistic. I'm planning on. Um, uh, hopefully, I'll be able to buy some uh, jetway mo uh, jetways. I'm really planning on doing that for 2013, being able to get uh, jetways. So uh, hopefully, that can happen. Uh, moving on to the Bravo Concourse, U.S. Airways A321, heading out to see it, Charlotte. Uh, then a U.S. Airways 737-400 heading out to uh, Charlotte as well. Uh, I took away the 300 just because uh, it's there's not really that many anymore around. If anyone wants to buy my 300, I'll be selling it for pretty cheap. So um, just name an offer. I really just want to get uh, um, it shipped out, really. I mean, I have it already packed up and stuff. So if anyone wants to buy that, just put in, in an offer. And... Uh, if it's a good offer in my consideration, then I'll, I'll sell it to you. So then after that, we have a Delta CRJ 900. This one will be heading out to New York. 
even though it is operated by uh, Calm Air, I just say it's operated by Pinnacle, uh, just because Calm Air is no longer around. Um, after that, we have a Delta MD-88 heading out down to Atlanta. Uh, I did take away the 757 uh, just because uh, the landing gears really weren't working on it, and uh, I just decided to take them off and put them on another 75. Um, after that, we have an American Eagle Embraer 145, the most recent aircraft I went on. I went on it about two weeks ago. Uh, I did get a video up the landing, but I don't really care about posting it or not. Um, I also did take away, I did sell the MD-88, the 737, and the uh, 757, so basically, oh, and the 777. So my whole American fleet, other than this Eagle, is uh, now gone. Uh, that's probably the ones that most people are interested in, and because I really show hatred for American, I was just happy to sell them. Uh, after that, we have an Alaska Airlines uh, 737-700 heading out to Seattle, Tacoma. I really like the slivery. I'm not a, I, I don't not really care for Alaska Airlines, but I know they are a very good airline. After that, we have a Frontier Airbus A319 um, heading down to Punta Cana, uh, operated by Apple Vacations. I mean, Apple Vacations operated by Frontier. Uh, and then we have a US Airways A330. So I'll hurry it up a little bit. Uh, this is my new area, sort of. It's not, it's not a new terminal, but it's just a newer area. We have a JAL 777-300 uh, heading out to Tokyo, Narita. Then a British Airways 747 heading out to London Heathrow uh, and then the sick new new release uh, Air New Zealand All Blacks 777-300 uh, heading out to New Zealand uh, the, and then another new aircraft Iberia Airbus A340-600 and these two models will be getting reviewed soon uh, so look out for that Iberia A340-600 heading out to Madrid uh, so that's basically it for that area. I'm thinking about adding another heavy over here. Uh, and then on this side I have my other heavy terminal. Uh, Hawaiian 767-300 and a Qantas Airbus A380. Uh, the Hawaiian's heading out to Honolulu. Qantas is heading out to Melbourne. So, um, on to the Southwest terminal. Uh, and Spirit, I have three Southwest planes. Uh, 737, 700 without winglets. I just call it a 300. Uh, uh, that's heading down to Tampa. Then a 700 heading out to uh, Denver. And then last but not least, another 700 heading out to Las Vegas. Then we have a Spirit Airbus A319 heading down to, uh, uh, let's see, probably Dallas-Fort Worth now. I'm going to say that because they do start service to Fort uh uh, they do start service to Dallas in a couple of months. Uh, so, that's basically it for the airport, guys. Not much has changed. Uh, the Air New This is a pretty cool shot right here. You've got the Air New Zealand and the Iberia in the background. And you've got another pretty cool shot. This just... I'm um, just really showing out, sh like, the... Just views of the airport, just to get another... A better realistic view of it, I guess. Uh, like that. So you see, it's, uh, oh, and then I forgot one last thing, uh, US Airways 757 heading out to Philly, uh, on runway 28 right, uh, and then a, and then a Airtrans 737 heading out to Fort Lauderdale. So that's basically it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm sorry I was a little bit dull, a little vague with the explanation. Uh, hopefully another one will come out soon. So that's basically it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. See ya. Bye.